Have you ever looked at a map of the world and noticed how the continents seem to fit together like puzzle pieces? This isn't just a coincidence. It's a result of a fascinating geological process called plate tectonics. Let's dive into the science behind Earth's moving continents. Our planet's outer layer, the lithosphere, is broken up into massive slabs of rock called tectonic plates. They are of two main types. Continental plates. These plates form our continents. They are thicker and less dense, and are composed mainly of granite and other buoyant rocks. Next are the oceanic plates. These form the vast ocean floors, and are thinner, but denser than the continental plates. They are primarily made of basalt, a denser volcanic rock. Imagine the earth, like a layered cake. Deep below the plates lies the mantle, a hot and partially molten layer. Within the mantle, the asthenosphere acts like a massive, slow-motion conveyor belt. The asthenosphere is made of very viscous, ductile, semi-solid material, on which the lithosphere moves. Heat from the Earth's core, drives currents in the asthenosphere, which in turn drag the tectonic plates above them, slowly reshaping the Earth's surface, over millions of years. The boundaries between these tectonic plates are where the real action happens. It's here that we see the dramatic effects of plate movement, with three main types of interactions. Convergent boundaries. This is like a head-on collision between two plates. Let us now discuss the three main scenarios of convergent boundaries. Continent-continent collision. When continental plates collide, something incredible happens. The immense force pushes the thicker continental crust upwards. Continental crust is already much thicker than the ocean floor. But when these land masses collide, it's like adding layers to a cake. The thickness of the crust builds up dramatically. Over millions of years, this accumulation of crust creates a monumental result, the formation of massive mountain ranges like the mighty Himalayas, which are home to some of the Earth's highest peaks. Oceanic Continental Collision when an oceanic plate meets a continental plate, the denser oceanic plate dives beneath the lighter continental plate, creating a subduction zone. This means that the oceanic plate sinks beneath the continent, forming a deep ocean trench. This descent triggers volcanic eruptions and earthquakes as the subducted plate melts and releases fluids into the mantle. The Andes Mountains and the infamous Ring of Fire are results of such collisions. Oceanic-Oceanic Collision In ocean-ocean convergence, the denser and older oceanic plate subducts below a less dense oceanic plate, forming a trench along the boundary. As the ocean floor crust, loaded with sediments, subducts into the softer asthenosphere, the rocks in the subduction zone become metamorphosed, under high pressure and temperature. After reaching a depth of about 100 km, the plates melt, forming the magma, which has lower density and is at high pressure. The magma rises upwards, due to the buoyant force offered by surrounding denser medium. The magma flows out to the surface. A continuous upward movement of magma creates constant volcanic eruptions at the ocean floor. Constant volcanism above the subduction zone creates layers of rocks. As this process continues for millions of years, a volcanic landform is created, which, in some cases, rises above the ocean waters. Such volcanic landforms, all along the boundary, form a chain of volcanic islands, which are collectively called as, island arcs. Orogenesis or mountain building, sets in motion, the process of building continental crust, by replacing the oceanic crust. However, this happens at a much later stage. For example, new islands are born around Japan in every few years. We can say, after some million years, Japan will be a single landmass, because continental crust formation is constantly replacing the oceanic crust. We've explored how convergent boundaries shape our world. Now, let's dive into a different kind of tectonic action, divergent boundaries. Imagine pulling on opposite ends of a pizza dough, that's what happens at divergent boundaries. Here, plates move away from each other, creating a gap. Molten rock, or magma, rises from the mantle to fill this gap. 
As the magma cools and solidifies, it forms new oceanic crust. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a prime example of a divergent boundary, where the Atlantic Ocean floor is continuously spreading. So far, we've covered convergent and divergent boundaries. But what happens when plates just slide past each other? That's where transform boundaries come in. Unlike convergent and divergent boundaries, transform boundaries are all about sideways action. Imagine two giant slabs of rock grinding past each other, that's what's happening here. All this friction can build up a lot of pressure, leading to something pretty intense, earthquakes. In fact, the famous San Andreas Fault in California is a prime example of a transform boundary. Plate tectonics is a continuous, dynamic process. It's responsible for shaping continents, oceans, mountains, and even influencing the very climate of our planet. The movement of plates can trigger volcanic eruptions, create mountain ranges, and generate earthquakes. Understanding plate tectonics allows us to predict geological hazards and provides valuable insights into Earth's ever-changing geological landscape.